A quantity of a radioactive substance starts with 2.4 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms. This is scientific notation form. Each month after that, 45% of the remaining substance decays. Write in the form A times 10 to the power of N, where A is greater or equal to 1 but less than 10. So that A there is greater or equal to 1 but less than 10. And the N is an element of Z. So the N is an integer. So that N is a positive or negative whole number. So we want to write in scientific notation the number of radioactive atoms remaining after one year. So we're going to let P of T be the number of atoms remaining after t months, t representing time. So p of t is going to be 2.4 times 10 to the power of 24, which was given to us in the question, multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.45 raised to the power of t. So we know that this came from the question, but where did the 1 minus 0 0.45 come from? Well, we're told that each month, 45% of the remaining substance decays. So if we want to write 45% as a decimal, we're going to change it to 0 0.45. But this 1 is going to represent 100%. So 1 take away 0 0.45 is the same as 100% take away 45%. And that's going to leave us with 55%. And 55% as a decimal is going to be 0 0.55. So what we need to do is get 55% of 2.4 times 10 to the power of 24. And in maths, of means multiply. So it's going to be 55% multiplied by 2.4 times 10 to the power of 24. But we're actually going to have it as a decimal. So it's going to be 0 0.55 multiplied by 2.4 times 10 to the power of 24. So that's where this comes from. 2.4 times 10 to the power of 24 multiplied by 0 0.55. And we're going to raise that to the power of t, t representing the number of months. Now there is actually a formula that we can use to work this out. Um, but let's just go back to this 55% for a minute. Where is this coming from? So if each month, 45% of the remaining substance decays, that means every month, 45%, we're losing 45%, then we still have 55% each month. So each month we have 55% of the previous month's amount. But let's just have a look at the formula that we can use for this, and it is in the formula tables. So this is known as the depreciation formula. So our amount is going to be equal to the principal amount. So that's the initial amount that we started with, which in this case will be 2.4 times 10 to the power of 24, multiplied by 1 minus the rate. In this case, it would be 45% or 0 0.45. And that's raised to the power of t. So this is known as the depreciation formula. And that's where those numbers came from there. But it's important to understand the percentages as well and think about it in terms of the story that we're given. Okay, so after one year, t is going to be equal to 12. And that's because there are 12 months in a year. And we are interested in the number of radioactive atoms remaining after one year. So that's why we're going to make t to be equal to 12, because there are 12 months in a year. So we're going to have p of 12 equal to 2.4 times 10 to the power of 24. And that's going to be multiplied by 0 0.55 to the power of 12, which will give us 7.662 times 10 to the power of minus 4. So 0 0.55 raised to the power of t. We're going to swap the t for 12 because there's 12 months in a year. And 0 0.55 to the power of 12 is going to give us 7.662 times 10 to the power of minus 4. 
So I've rounded off this decimal to three places. So since we have 2.4 times 10 to the power 24, and we're multiplying it by 7.662 times 10 to the power minus 4, we're multiplying each of these together. So we can actually take out the 2.4 and the 7.662 and group those together, just multiply them, to give 18.3888 to four decimal places. And then we can group together the 10 to the power 24 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4. And we can put those together. So when we're multiplying powers with the same base, we add the powers. I know there's a minus in here, but that's because there was already an, a minus in the ind index. So 10 to the power 24 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 is actually 10 to the power 24 plus minus 4 because we add the powers. We're following law 1 of indices. So this is law 1 of indices. 8 to the power of p multiplied by 8 to the power of q gives us 8 to the power of p plus q. So multiplying powers with the same base, we add the powers. So 10 to the power of 24 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 4 gives us 10 to the power of 24 plus minus 4, which is the same thing as 10 to the power of 24 minus 4. And 24 take away 4 is 20. So we get 10 to the power of 20. Now, we were told in the question that we would like a to be greater or equal to than 1, but less than 10. And at the moment, we have 18.3888. So 18 is clearly going to be greater than 10. So we're going to have to move our decimal point one place to the left. So we get 1.83888. And therefore, we're going to have to add on 1 to our power. So 20 becomes 21. So these are two of our rules of scientific notation that we should learn off. If the power gets bigger, the decimal point moves to the left. And if the power gets smaller, the decimal point moves to the right. So we needed... our decimal point to move to the left so that this would become 1.83888 and this 1 is greater or equal to 1 but less than 10 and that's what we want and if we move our decimal point one place to the left we have to increase our power by 1 so 10 to the power 20 becomes 10 to the power 21. So our final answer is going to be 1.83888 times 10 to the power of 21. So the number of radioactive atoms remaining after one year is going to be 1.83888 times 10 to the power of 21. And this is known as scientific notation.